Hey everybody, John Gucci Foley here and welcome back to the High Performance Zone. Okay, today we're going to do something special. Here's what I want to do. Uh, I've been inspired, of course, by the movie. I think everybody has. And I want to unpack some of the real flying behind that and put it back into tactical, real Navy terms. Uh, you know, I did fl do some of the flying in the original movie, Top Gun. Actually, I was just in the right place at the right time. So if you all remember, that was 1986 is when we filmed that. I happened to be on the USS Enterprise. So whenever you see those original scenes of the jets landing and taking off the aircraft carrier, again, this is the original movie, Top Gun. It was filmed in Miramar. So all the actual scenes over the desert, that was Miramar. That used to be called Fighter. Town USA. It was the Navy's F-14 West Coast based. I mean, if you were cool, you were stationed in Miramar. All right. Uh, and then now, by the way, is a, it's a Marine base because the Navy has moved all their, uh, their F-14s went to Oceana on the East Coast. And now the F-14 doesn't even exist anymore in the Navy. And the Marines, it's their, their base for F-18s. But back then, it was cool. In fact, you probably remember the bar scene that was in the original movie Top Gun. That actually was a real deal, except it was on Wednesday nights. That's was interesting. It wasn't a Friday night or Saturday night. Wednesday night at the Oak Club. Uh, and in fact, I did not, I was not stationed at Miramar. I was stationed in Lemoore, California, flying A7s. And we would fly down, dogfight off the coast of uh, the water there of San Diego. And then we would come in and be at the bar Wednesday night. Night. Everybody knew that was the night to be there. Um, but let's get back to the movie, okay? So I happen to be on the USS Enterprise. It's 1986. I'm actually a nugget. What's a nugget mean? It means it's a new guy, okay? It's your new guy, probably doesn't know squat, and you're just learning how to land on and off the aircraft carrier. You're actually uh, on your fleet squadron, and we're in what we call workups, which means we were getting ready to deploy, okay? And I just remember just trying to stay alive. Basically, that's what it was all about out there. We're off the coast of Southern California, doing normal operations, uh, which mean normal, meaning you, you launch off the carrier, you go dogfight, or you drop some bombs, or you do anti-ship, anti-submarine training, you come back in, you land the jet, hopefully you survive that landing, and, and you start to rack up, you know, landings, you start counting them. In fact, I had a centurion patch, which means you get 100 landings on the Enterprise. I actually had a three 300 centurion patch and 100 on nighttime. Nighttimes are really scary, right? So I just happened to be on the, 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 the enterprise. All of a sudden we got a heads up. Hey, there's going to be a filming crew coming on and, and they'll be doing some filming, but you know, you don't have to do anything special. Don't, don't overthink anything. And sure enough, uh, about a few days later, you see all these, uh, production people come on board and all of a sudden these actors start showing up. And if you remember, Tom Cruise was relatively new back then. He wasn't the big name that he is now. And you had Iceman, Val Kimmler. And I remember just walking around the carrier doing our normal stuff and you'd bump into these guys in the hallway and it was no big deal. In fact, I didn't even acknowledge them because, um, you know, we were just doing our job. And I remember being in the, in the wardroom one day and, and, uh, that's where we, we eat. And as uh, the dirt, it's called the dirty shirts wardroom, which means that's where all the pilots eat. Cause you're in the, your grubby flight suit or you've been on the flight deck. And, uh, uh, and then, you know, you'd see the, the actors in there and, and you'd think, well, we'd, we'd go over to see them. No, it's just the opposite. They would come over and sit down with us because they wanted to know what was it really like as compared to the, the, the acting. You know, what was it really like to launch off an aircraft carrier, go from zero to 200 miles per hour in 1.8 seconds, right? And then when you get launched off, and in the new movie, by the way, it's a great shot where Tom Cruise is going off the bow of the, of the carrier and he knows how his head gets slammed forward. That's because you're going down what they, we call it the stroke. And that is when you're in tension on the, uh, on the catapult, you drop your launch bar and that, that actually attaches to the shuttle, which is what's going to sling you. And it is a slingshot. It just slings you off the carrier, right? Then you, what they have to do is they have to put a holdback fitting in. What's a holdback fitting? It's just a metal rod that is attached to the airplane and the flight deck so that when you go to full power, because you cannot hold the brakes at full power, um, that's what's holding you on the flight deck. And you'll notice in the movies that the airplanes are shaken and that you get your final checks and you wipe out your controls. There's what we call a JBD, the jet blast deflector comes up. That's that metal piece behind the jet so that all that exhaust gets blown up 
and over people. Otherwise, you would knock people off the flight deck. You would knock airplanes. Um, so that's what, what you're seeing there. And then you wipe out the controls. You have your QA people, your safety people all around. They're looking to make sure everything uh, uh, is operating correctly. Then when you're ready and you look at your inst instruments and you say, okay, I'm ready to go, you salute the catapult officer. They salute you back and then look out, you're along for the ride. Uh, you know, in the movie, they, they showed uh, Tom Cruise. And remember, it's not Tom Cruise flying. He's in the backseat. It's just that they got the cameras making it look like he's actually flying. All right. Uh, but that's a backseat of a two-seater. In, in the new movie, it was the F-18 Super Hornet. In the original movie, it was an F-14. Okay. But anyhow, you grab that handle. Uh, in the A-7, you didn't grab the handle. You just kept your hand on the stick. And I did the same thing in the F-18. And then you salute. And they, uh, when they're ready and they think it's a clear deck, they'll salute you back. And that means stand by. You're about to go. And about a second later, somebody hits a button and you get launched off that carrier. It snaps that metal rod in half and you just accelerate off. And I remember screaming, going off the end, going, leaning forward because it was so much fun. And then you hit the end of the cat stroke and bam, it feels like the earth stops because you go from zero to 200 miles per hour. And all of a sudden, the all your sensory perception's gone because it's just water. And, and you feel like the airplane has stopped flying. And at nighttime, that's really uncomfortable. Daytime, it's no big deal because you can look out there. You see, by the way, you're only 60 feet off the water. And you can see it. Uh, and then you do a clearing turn. And that's where you saw in the movie there, they do a snap with their wings. And they clear. If you go off the bow cats, you clear right. If you go off the waist cats, which are on the landing area, you clear left so that you don't run into each other down the line. Um, but that's what a cat shot is all like and so we were filming those on the movie the filming crew would come out there we would just be doing our normal stuff right and i think that's powerful uh you saw the teamwork evolved around that aircraft carrier you see the the guys on the flight deck right the men and women there they're um different they're wearing different colored jerseys why are they wearing different colored jerseys because they had different roles so my my maintenance uh people line maintenance that that that, that chain the deck down the airplane down to the deck they're wearing brown Brown shirts and they're carrying chains on their shoulders and their job is to chain you down the minute you get parked right because um, believe me you can you don't want to roll off the aircraft carrier it's not a good thing right so they chain the airplanes down all right you have people in white jerseys white means safety so they're either QA quality control or safety and they're checking things yellow shirts the yellow shirts you really want to respect the yellow shirts are actually part of the air wing ground crew not air wing they're the ship and, uh, and they actually taxi you around. And these are highly skilled uh, individuals. And, and they put airplanes, you know, six inches from apart. Sometimes they taxi your nose out over the edge of the water. It is so uncomfortable because the landing gear, the nose gear is a little bit behind you, right? And so they taxi you out and they spin you and you, you're sitting over the water. And I've got to tell you, your, 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 your feet are on the brakes. You just want to stop. You're like, no, because you taxi over the shuttle, which is just about a four inch piece of metal. You're into the water, right? So you got to trust these people with your lives. And then you've got other people, the grapes. They, they, we call them the grapes because they're perfect. Purple. They were the ones that fuel you. You have the red, the red guys. Those are the ordies. Okay. They're the ones that load the ordnance on. So the bottom line is I just gave you a little bit of background of, of what it's like to be on an aircraft carrier. But in the original movie, you'll see how it starts. You remember how it starts? You got this iconic scene of, of a jet landing on an aircraft carrier. And then they zoom in and you'll see myself and also lots of my teammates. Cause remember this wasn't really planned for one person to do this. It was just normal operations. We're taxing up to the catapult. And then you'll see all these other people doing their jobs. You know, the white shirts, the yellow shirts, the brown shirts, the red shirts. And we actually call them that. And they're out there doing their jobs and you get launched off that carrier. Now the star of that movie was the F-14. It was not the airplane I was flying. Okay. I did fly the F-14 actually got what they call a NATOP squall in that airplane, which means um, I went in and got trained and, and am qualified to dogfight and, and fly that airplane. But in, in uh, that day in 1986, when we did this filming, I was just part of Carrier Air Group 11. We were called CAG 11. It was on the USS Enterprise. And most of the flying that you see that was done over the water was done by my our air wing uh, doing really normal operations. We didn't necessarily go into anything uh, 
too abnormal. We did some flybys. You remember the flyby uh, around the tower? Let's buzz the tower. Now, there was one on the land, okay, this, that was different. This is the one over the water. Tom Cruise had just shot down the MiGs. And I remember in that story, I happened to be on the uh, flight deck manning up for a sortie. And uh, they come over what they call the 1MC, which is basically uh, the, the microphone. And the air boss goes, Hey everybody, uh, we're, you know, this filming is coming up now. You're going to see an F-14 fly by the left side of the ship. We call it the port side. Um, and you know, then, uh, then they're going to land and act like they just shot down a MIG and you're going to all run and come over and jump up and down and get all excited. And I remember thinking to myself, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to run over and jump up and down on these actors who are faking that they just shot down a MiG. But we still filmed it, and uh, I just didn't do it. I just didn't get in the shot. But um, all the troops did, and you can see that. Uh, I remember I just stayed by my jet and was manning up real ordnance saying, hey, this is, this is a real day. I need to get ready to get launched off. But that's just a couple of quick insights on some stories there. Wanted to give you a feel for what it's like to be on an aircraft carrier um, and uh, We'll, we'll continue with some other stuff. Gucci out.